wellness and health events, reviews, and more. This is Mary Collins from Life Hacks Media, and I have the pleasure to have Eva Weisenbach on with us today in the new year 2022. Hi, Eva. How are you? I'm very well, Mary. How are you? Well, you know, I am I'm excited and intrepidated about the new year because there's so much change going on, um, some better, some for worse. Um, and we are going to this. We're going to explain a bit more. But first, for people who cannot see us, we are dressed like a Mad Hatter's tea party, which we are going to get into in a second. Um, it's very spring and very, yes, very so much potential um, <laughs> going on here. Uh, but we want to just, you know, give credit to, first of all, over the Christmas holidays, we had the screw tape letters on by C.S. Lewis, which he wrote to J.R.R. Tolkien. Mm. And it's a very interesting listen. So if you get a chance, go over to lifehacks.com, that's with a K and an X, to hear four parts of the screw tape letters and to find out who the amazing artists are that helped put the narration together. So we have that. We had... Gregory Doyen, the very famous French chef. Um, and we have so many more interesting people coming on the show, including next week, we have Dr. Moran Cerf, who has literally robbed banks for a living because he is a predictive behavioral neuroscientist. And he is going to talk to us all about predictive behavior, which hmm, might be very good going into 2022. So him, we have Robert Knight, the robot builder. We have, um, of course, Jim Browning, our, our our special hacker who talks about, you know, computer scams and, and scams around the world. Yeah. And we have tons of hypnotherapists and hypnotists, including uh, Mike Mandel, Anthony Jacquin, Barbara Scholl, all people who can tell you a bit more about what mass hypnosis is um, and also how to help yourself through the new year, whether it be mental health, help with family, children, etc. We've got a little bit of everything for you to listen to on Life Hacks. Anyway, with that, um, yeah, are we ready, Eva, to get into this new year and this um, this whole Mad Hatter tea party? Yeah, we're definitely going to start it with a party because you have to have a laugh. <laughs> yes. And so speaking of which, I've got my exquisite little tea set here. It's a beautiful little French uh, Limoges tea set that I got for Christmas. I'm very happy about it. And um, I don't know what you're drinking, but I'm sort of I'm struggling to choose uh, what kind of tea, whether it be sweet <laughs> tea or something with a bit of a, a lime twist. Patron, people, patron. Um, I was thinking maybe Scottish tea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something with a little bit of a, a punch to it. Yeah? yeah, I mean, or we could really get into the new year. <laughs> go, go Let's full. do it. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Who cares, right? Dry January, my eye. Anyway, so uh, with that, we shall get into the theme of the of the tea party and the Mad Hatter. And I want to give credit 100% to Eva for that idea because she has found some really interesting stuff talking about, you know, earth, wind, fire and how it affects us personally and in our community. So with that, give us a little description, Eva, of what what inspired you to get into the Mad Hatter and the, how it Mad Hatter, well, yeah. yeah, as you do, you stumble across a lot of things in some dark rabbit holes online, don't you? <laughs> so... <Yeah. laughs> You really do. Some you don't want to know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Earth, Wind and Fire as just a whole topic is all about looking at what we have around us. We have so many amazing things and so many things have been shunned as woo-woo over the years or spiritual and science is now finally catching up. So talking about um, light therapy, so, you know, that would be the fire element. Uh, soil would be grounding or just how good all the bugs in the soil are and how important they are for us as humans as well. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, wind would also be things like actually the uh, sound waves, which aren't waves, which we might talk about later. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's so much there. And today we'll, yeah, we'll have some fun with it. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, Eva's dressed to the hilt here. She's got a Mad Hatter hat on. I have my ears done up with a mask because, <laughs> you know, chair. let's face it, we all reuse our masks for things we shouldn't. So um, as my bunny ears, because, of course, I am the the wild March hare um, and I'm wearing my shirt backwards just to be a, a rebel, because I think this year should be a little bit about the fire in Earth, Wind and Fire should be a little bit about rebellion. Yeah. So so what? Uh, 
um, what this chap said, what Chesterton said, which I thought was really, really good. He says that together, the Mad Hatter and the March Hare constructs a law mandating the hats must be made and purchased in great numbers, but they must not be worn. Mm-hmm. And that's the mad law. <laughs> but both are happy because mm-hmm. the Mad Hatter gets to make profit by making hats and the March Hare has kind of done his rah-rah, no one should wear hats, and everyone's, well, they're happy. Mm -hmm. The citizens might not be so happy. Right. What a lot of waste. What a lot of waste. What a lot of waste. (laughs) So going back to the California, kind of like all trucks and vans must be electric by 2045. So here's the thing. Most of these mad laws, nothing is fundamentally... You know, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a good aim kind of thing, mm-hmm. but it's the extreme of things. So by saying that they all have to be like Ford, BMW, Honda, they're going, yeah, hey, we're going to go to move, <laughs> go, go to California mm-hmm. because we're going to all of a sudden replace an entire fleet of stock. Mm-hmm. We like that. They're the Mad Hatters. Mm-hmm. And then you have like sort of the, the, the green washers going to the extreme of, but we're going to shut down power plants now. We are going to put in what we deem to be currently green energy, but it's going to cost more. And just as a silly example in the UK this year, they said, well, we haven't had enough wind and we haven't had enough sun and therefore the prices have skyrocketed. And you can go, okay, Mm. but they're both happy because they both get their... yeah. Satiated. Yeah, it's, it's it's like the same situation with, for like at least 10 years, the NHS in the UK and other health services around the world have been every single, every single winter saying that they're overrun and there's not enough staff and there's not enough money. Yeah. And um, when you actually look at numbers, it's like the same amount or even less beds, for example, than they had before, but then they're blaming it on something new. So maybe last year or not last year, let's go back three years. Yeah. We know that <laughs> see you next Tuesday is, is, you know, the cause of everything, including everything. head injuries and the flu um, and the economy, you know, I mean, let's not point out that the fact is, is that see you next Tuesday is the cause of why the environment is suffering and why there are billions of people actually starving to death and millions yeah. or at least hundreds of thousands of people being abused and neglected. Yeah. yeah. Um, and well, diagnosed. Yeah. So all of this stuff will be on our blog. It, you know, Eva is wonderful about this. We do not just, you know, I tend to, I know for all my friends, I know I send you some March mad hair stuff. <laughs> And I don't always do the research. But Eva I am the does it. She does the research. She's in it for the seriousness of it. So Absolutely. everything she finds is right off of the CDC website or whoever. And I do try to look into PubMed. And in this case, this the information about the truckers is coming from a legitimate source as well. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So go definitely. on. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to throw in that that whole, you know, oh, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers. They're the actually numbers. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, but the, but what's so interesting about this is that it is actually down to what you told us. It is down to hypnosis. It is down to psychology. Mm-hmm. It is never. Often the numbers are created to support something rather than the numbers driving something. But that's a whole nother yeah. sadistic yeah. statistic yeah. episode. And- Exactly. And as far as hypnosis, if y'all won't wake up, you can go to change at change hypnotherapy. Just contact. Yes. Me. I'll help absolutely. wake you up. And that that is as gently very, as possible. Very good. And also <laughs> help people through the year get some tools under their belts to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And all the pain and depression that's just starting. Mm. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But at the moment, we're having a party. Yes, we are. <laughs> a slightly mad party, but nonetheless a party. <laughs> so I'll just finish off with what Chesterton concluded, because I think this is actually, this is the crux of the matter. And this is, right, so we also, Mary and I have a saying where we say, don't be a headliner. So always, you know, don't just skim, a, don't just skim a, kind of like a headline, either skim the article or look at some other sources. And, mm-hmm. and this will kind of tell you exactly why. So Chesterton said, there are two powerful elements between the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. So we are both sort of the governing classes because we are putting mad laws in place. Mm -hmm. And we are both satisfied, yeah, because the first one for the Mad Hatter is finance and the second one for the March Hare is what he calls fidgets. 
And I think what he mean by that is action, or like empty mm-hmm. action, really. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he says, the capitalist Mad Hatter has made money, and he only wanted to make money. The social reformer, the March Hare, has done something, and he only wanted something to do. Right. That's it all in, in a big old teapot. It's That's that it, all in a teapot. And so yeah. how does one, from that, push to... You know, this actually can be used in a positive light, you know, Definitely. this can be used in the light like, OK, you can be a Mad Hatter or you can be a March Hare. But instead of just doing something because you have nothing else to do, really think about a cause and be like, I am going to do this, this and this. And this is how I'm going to make these things happen in my community. In the matter of fact, that was something I was going to say at the end of this interview, which is why wait 75 years to figure out what happened? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Huh? How about we all think about where we are at right now? Yes. In our youth or our old age, whatever stage in life you are, think about right now and say, I don't, uh, a New Year's resolution isn't waiting until the following year to do it. A good New Year's resolution is saying, what will life be like if I live another 50 years or another 75 years, another 10 years? And w- what can I do now to make sure it's the outcome that I want? So that that can work for the state of the March Hare, and that can also work for someone who wants to be prosperous. Definitely. Mad Hatter doesn't have to be bad. He can be a good thing because a lot of businesses right now are suffering, and those people, if they want to have prosperity, there is a way to work with a good hair, yeah. March Hare, and there's a, a, a March Hare can do a lot of good by working with the right Hatter. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. It's so, all about the extremes, isn't it? You know, mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong. Absolutely. And and, and actually, to, to finish that off, I like um, I like this. So we sort of, read, again, Chesterton, I'll give credit to, uh, again, he's saying the new law, the new mad law is enacted. The mad hatter gets richer. The citizens get poorer. The government gets stronger because you have to, to rule the laws. And the March Hare goes on to the next project. Yeah. That's it, because it's not, it's just, I call it washing. You know, it doesn't matter right. whether it's green washing, pink washing. Yeah. It's, it's just a cause for the sake of a cause. Well, this is it. Where, where are all of our, where are our rebels right now? I mean, what's happening to the environmentalists? Where, where the heck are all of the animals that are oh. getting wrapped up in mask strings? Yeah, all yeah, of the yeah. masks that are being, that are such a contagious illness. Yeah. It's so dangerous that the masks are like lying on floors everywhere. There's no special has, hazard unit bins for these, these dangerous things that are contaminated you know there's um all these these um my body my my right yeah where you know my body what happened to you where's your body now what now your body belongs to your my body belongs to you as well i mean what wait what happened what about all these doctors who 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 said that they would that they're they took the hippocratic oath to say that they would save lives harm harm. Mm. where are you don't say you don't know what statistics really are there are i mean it's the ingredients are now of course we're on a totally different subject as usual because the march hair has fucked off to another subject <laughs> um because that's what's bothering me like i mean I, i'm really annoyed at the fact that people are like okay with waiting they're okay with the the, the giselle whatever her name is case they're okay yeah. with a war criminal being knighted yes my son you're a taxpayer <laughs> you're a taxpayer uk people you're paying to have that those people throw their own mad yeah. tea party and yeah. have all the nut jobs with them, yeah. right? And praise those nut jobs. Yeah. <laughs> like where where's the logic? So yeah. yeah, so the world has gone crazy. And um and where what can we do to wake people up or even just get people to play proper? Yeah. Great just question. Down. And we are gonna end on some kind of positive what should we do? What can we do? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, you just reminded me because you and I spoke about this in 2021, which feels mm-hmm. so long ago already, uh, which was the Romans and the bread and circuses. So when you mention like the news and maybe uh, very famous court cases and things, it's, it's all bread and circuses. It's to kind of occupy our minds mm-hmm. uh, and distract us to not actually think beneath the headlines and to not think about 
where is this going to lead or where will we be in 75 years? So where's our future? And so speaking of which, do you have anything little extra that's happening in the law? So, I mean, back in 2019, right. So go with that because back in 2019, we were talking about laws where they're taking commercial buildings in the UK and they're going to turn them into these mini apartments, not even apartments, like boxes for people to live in. Yes, this does happen around the world, people. So it is coming to the UK. Um, there was conspiracies about microchipping and all the rest of it. And a voila, here we are in 2022 with the NHS saying that they had this new microchip scheme where, you know, you can get your rent and your 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 employee and employment on this record that's going to be a, a microchip, whether it's in your phone or wherever it's going to be. It's coming. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else that you have to add to that little rant? Yeah. So shall we now do a little bit of rebellious? Yes. <laughs> Let's play with fire, Mary. Let's play with fire. We have to. Put so. some fire in your bellies, people. Fire. <laughs> Not just I'm the sure bottom. people might know a little bit because um, we do think that there are some mad laws out there, don't we? And to put the context, and I am going to quote this. These are all official numbers. So, again, we can link to it. It's not a problem. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna let's jump into the rabbit hole. Let's let's mm-hmm. kind of look at the mad laws and the the, the March hairs. So first of all, let's frame it with three clear statistics. When it comes to see you next Tuesday, mm. yeah, the UK Parliament said this last year. So if you want to argue with someone, take it up with the UK Parliament. Mm-hmm. The infection fatality rate. That is, if you get infected what is the risk to you for mortality or to of, of death is 0.096 percent mm. which is comparable to the flu that's what we're talking about so this is this is the context the context is is comparable to the flu 0.096 percent mm. risk to you if you get infected the average age of death is still in most countries around 82 83 which is on point with life expectancy and the current injections do not stop infection or spread. And you are not considered whatever you want to call it um, now with one or two or two in a lot of places. <laughs> you'd have to be three. Yes. And be aware that when you see numbers of the unjade in hospital first of all that doesn't happen they don't let you into hospitals that's garbage um and secondly unless it's an emergency maybe in some cases there are a few people that are unjade but the majority that they say are unjade just means that they had a j within 14 days and died yes doesn't mean that they didn't have a j it means that they had it but they're now counting between 14 and 21 days that you have to have it and stay alive for it to be counted as an actual j Yeah. So think about that. When you're reading some garbage news spread thing that's like, there are 200 people dead out of the 67 million people, by the way, um, of of like for, say, the UK, um, look to see when, when, find out when did they actually have, did they actually have anything or did they literally not even for 21 days have anything at all? Yeah. That's that's in the box. Yeah. And this is kind of this is our this has been our point all through 2021, hasn't it? It's it's mm-hmm. not arguing the see you next Tuesday, mm-hmm. but it's saying we need the context of of everything that goes on in society, and we need definition of language, and we need to look at sadistic statistics, mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and, and including comes, right, and including those good old adverse reactions that no one is talking about that needs to be yeah. talked about because yeah. we are now talking about exposing a younger and younger uh, percent of people or yeah age group yeah. Um, who had no to zero chance of like getting sick any serious disease even right Never and now to- miscarriages are through the roof yeah um and to quantify that sorry if someone goes oh to- no they're not uh, yeah, so Scotland has noticed a huge peak. There's been issues in America with IVF clinics and stuff. So there is already data Canada. on it. Yeah. And Canada, yep. So we can back okay. it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so all let's that is run through some of these mad laws. Yes, some more, some more insane laws. Let's go. <laughs> Where what's going on around the world? So we'll just run through a couple of quick ones. So, but bear in mind the context: zero point zero nine six percent risk to you mm-hmm. if you get infected. Mm-hmm. Average age of death, 83, and mm-hmm. the 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 arm juice things don't stop infection or spread. So mm-hmm. Austria, of course, at the moment is the most bizarre going complete mandatory arm juice for mm-hmm. the entire population. 
Uh, it's the most unlikely country to do it in my book, but it's not know, for me because of history. It's but history. anyway, <laughs> Italy and Italy now is uh, something I've this made. This is just gossip. This is hearsay. But apparently, you won't be able to drive. You will not be able to yeah. have a license yeah. if you don't get arm juice. And they are punishing. I think it's you said Greece or something on our our private call. Yeah. That will be punishing people. And just finding them every single month. Started. Yeah. So Greece, every if you're over 60 and you are not fully, so again, there's a definition of fully, it's you cheap. will be fined 100 euros per month. Why is a good question. Mm -hmm. Going back to Italy, Italy is concerning. So in January, Italy will have a vote saying that, you again, you have to be fully juiced mm -hmm. uh, to be able to go to your workplace. Whereas at Which, the moment, you can still test. But even then you go, Why? Yeah. It's, and then the question we need to ask why. And the test, right. And the test that they've now said, CDC has said, don't work, by the way. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but again, it's back to like 0 0.096. We cannot yeah. lose sight of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's and then not and the, Ebola. No, exactly. And then this is the other thing. So that, that there's apparently certain populations that are at higher risk, but then why yeah. aren't they at higher risk in their own countries where they're actually starving and have Ebola and malaria and yeah. a bunch of other stuff? Why isn't this actually taking effect when their population is 10%, less than 10% juiced, yeah. but they're not dying from it? So what's yeah. going on? Absolutely. So it's just this, it's this logic. And then, like you said, this is the, the mad part about it is that these laws are, are being pushed, 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 leading yeah. to what ultimately? Because every three months now they're saying you're going to have to have a new bit of juice. Yeah. Now, I, I have a friend that has stopped talking to me forever, per, I hope, um, unless she's going to apologize, because I had a horrendous nightmare back in 2020 or 2019, I think, where I dreamt that people would walk into malls and have like a stamp card and then sit down on like a massage chair and have like a, a conveyor belt of not conveyor belt, mm. what do you call it? Like a, a dispensing machine yeah. that would jab them. Yeah. And then they'd have to stamp it to kind of update their their jab. And there was yeah. like a big, long list of stuff. And and she laughed at me. She's like, oh, that is ridiculous. That's never going to happen. These are going to be effective, like all the governments have said. And here we are yeah. every three months. Yeah. And yeah. the most, most COVID or the most um, see you next Tuesday issues are in the most juiced countries as well. Yeah. There's something else. Like, Absolutely. Absolutely. Denmark came out with an amazing study on that. So there's some really, really good data. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, what did you? Oh, you made me think of something. What was that? I can't remember. If I remember, I'll, I'll bring it out. But let's do a couple of more. I have two more man let's laws see. because yeah. it's just interesting to cover sort of the, the spectrum of the world. Mm -hmm. Australia. Um, Australia is just a whole nother <laughs> mad hat to keep Back out. to being a prison camp. <laughs> yeah, well, this is it. So mm -hmm. if you have had three juices. Mm -hmm. and you test negative, they will still come and forcefully remove you and place you in a state-run quarantine centre. If that you have sounds... been near, if someone has decided you have been a close contact, and that can be in the grocery store. So we're not talking like you've spent an hour with someone in one room. Someone actually, it happened to someone, they've been in a garden centre. So mm. like part of it was probably outside, you know, outside even. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, scary stuff. New York, uh, this makes me so sad. Mm -hmm. um, this came in, I think it was 14th of December, so only mid-December. Children down to the age of five now have to show passports. Uh, so even like if they want to go out, if the family going out for a meal, if your child is five, they have to show a passport to do like school trips or anything passports mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this you know and the, you know what this is nothing new in actual fact you can find these documents you can find them on government sites where they have talked about from newborn they're going to do this back in 2008 yeah, 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 yeah. i found yeah. documents that said from newborn they were going to do this and the placebo group they were going to track it is there it is actually in the CDC documents. It is in the World uh, Economic Forum documents. It's there. This has been planned for a long time, including the UK having their kind of um, health ministry is going to be putting on um, health people, you know, like candy stripe people who will be able to remove your child. Yeah. If they if if you're not available, supposedly if you're not available or competent, they will be able to come into a school and take that person or take you away. And it starts in the law where it says for 14 days, but then they can extend the 14 days and extend the 14 days, which is now we're seeing being tested out in Australia. Yes. And New York are voting on that in January. Right. 
this and with people. Aboriginal, you know, like I mean, yeah. and you have the Canadian president come out and call people um, racists and mid, mid, I can never say that word. The one against women, misogynist, misogynist, <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't know how a female is yeah. misogynist, but anyway, um, and what to do with these group of people? This is literally wording that has happened in the past. And don't yeah. think what happened in the past happened overnight. It took laws and people obeying the laws and going further and further and further until they just outright did horrible yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we are sadly at the point now of horrible stuff. I mean, I've, I've read, again, I can link to it, news stories, horrendous. There was a man, um, kind of, he wasn't even middle-aged, a uh, man in Germany, um, who shot his wife and three young children because the wife had had a falsified passport to that. be able yeah. to go to work. And when you hear stories like that, you really, you need to kind of go, what is this about? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. And actually my favourite, my favourite new one from last year, and I'm, I don't do Latin, so I apologise, <laughs> Cui Bono, <laughs> who stands to benefit. All of right. Them. Please, everyone, throw a Mad Hatter tea part with your neighbors yeah. if you can get them to trust yeah. you to come over or whatever, and have have this discussion of if this was a murder mystery, if let's let's pretend what's happening in the role is just a movie that you're watching, yeah. watch it and think, okay, this is a crime scene. I have surpassed the 50 years of waiting for the evidence to come through. Therefore, I am going to have to make um, an idea of what I think is going to happen, how I think this is going to play out. And then ask yourself, who's benefiting the most from this? these laws that are changing our lives? Yeah. And, it, and the idea of like, well, if everyone just did what they were told isn't going to cut it because it keeps changing. The goalposts keep moving. And a lot of people are doing what they're told and they're dying or they're being... Yeah. Let's it's remind not, everyone you know, that it's not making any impact. Look at Israel, look at Iceland, look at the UK. Actually. All the places that are the, that have the most of these laws coming in are the ones that are actually suffering. Yeah. Okay. Why work harder when you can work smarter and live better? Life hacks. So even with all these rules that are changing um, and people saying, well, just comply. The problem being that we don't know how like, complying changes every three months, even less than every three months. It's constantly an up and down roller coaster around the whole world. So what do you think people can do? Because yeah. if they don't do something now, there's a good chance that there there's not going to be a chance to do it later. So what can we do? Yeah. So first of all, I'm going to go back to our party because I think this is the most important. Don't get despondent. We need to have a laugh. We need to have a party. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's number one. But the other thing, so positive action. Decide whom do, do we want to benefit? You know, go down to your local farmer, maybe do some bartering, mm -hmm. uh, talk to your local businesses. You might not want to spend all your money with Amazon. Mm -hmm. Question mark. The same. Yeah? yeah. So who do you want to benefit? Where do you want the economy to be? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking hyperlocalization, which is a word coming up a lot at the moment. Right. That's a good one to, to look for and, and kind of read into, hyperlocalization. The other one for me, and this this exploded certainly in Europe last year, US was a bit earlier, don't get swept up in wokeness. Don't mm -hmm. be the March hare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So like the whole greenwashing, pinkwashing, I'm sorry, but that's a topic close to my heart. Just because you slap a pink ribbon on a bucket of ice cream doesn't make it good for you. That's going to give you cancer, if anything. Right. So like, don't, yeah, don't get caught up in the fashion. Right. Right. Ask questions. You know, just ask, ask really questions. sensible yeah, questions. Definitely. Where are the warrior, where are the environmental warriors when yeah. there's a bunch of dirty masks all over the place? Yeah. Where are the human rights people who are 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 standing silent while children are being experimented on? Where are the where are the women's rights people who yeah. um all of a sudden don't care about their me body too. or their body. You know, where are the Me Too yeah. people? This is rape. Yeah. You're being forced into someone's course. This is pharmaceutical rape. This yeah. is absolutely, you know? there's no informed consent. There's no, no informed consent. No, you know, and, and yeah, and so, yeah, and that's the thing. And then you get, you get rebellious. Speak easy, you know, do whatever you have to. Yes. Stay in the community and yes. start making the community work together seriously before it's too late. That's, yeah. that's my two cents. So anyway. on that point, I love that, Mary. So I'm going to do two good ones on that. So the thing is, kind of like the opposite of being the March Hare, Mm -hmm. is I would like to say, hold the line. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. You just need to go, hmm, this doesn't feel right. 
Mm, mm. I'm not sure about this. Just hold the line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, just stand. But you don't have to like run off and do a load of stuff that you don't know whether it's good or not. So, yeah. yeah. And the way to do that, and this is this is wonderful. I love this. So this was a chap in Australia started this off on his own. He just did it for, a, for him to hold mm-hmm. the line. And it's called Stand in the Park. They mm-hmm. are around the world. They meet up every Sunday between 10 and 11. And it's just your local community. It's, it's literally you go to a local park yeah. and you yeah. stand with other people and you have a mm-hmm. chat. Mm-hmm. You get to know people and mm-hmm. you talk about these things and go, what do you think? I think this is a bit odd. Right. But and prep. Community. <laughs> I, yeah. say, I say prep, like find out, like you said, farmers, find out who's got, who's yeah. got meat and who's got the... Well, definitely, equipment. definitely. And whatever. Yeah. No, there yeah. has to be something. There has to be a point where um, Viva La Revolution has to well, happen. You know? It's just it kind of like get yeah. away from celebrities, get away from news headlines and actually talk to people. Yeah. You know, because yeah. what's happening locally is completely different to what they're telling you is happening. Right, actually. right. That's well, this I is found. it. No, and they, there's a whole movie that there's a bunch of um, stuff about it, which is Don't Look Up. I actually yeah. I used to know Adam McKay. I blocked him. But anyway, um, and one of the reasons was because he was the March Hare, 100%. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really happy about this movie that he's done now because it is like people are like, it's about the environment. And other people are like, no, it's not. It's about rich people having control over everything else or powerful people just kind of like playing with us. And I do think like, it's very well done. If you haven't seen, don't look up, do watch it and see if it doesn't make you feel uneasy and it should. And if it does, maybe you can hashtag don't look up when we're talking about the me too movement, the rape, the rape of society, you know, the coercion of society with medical practices that are not actually scientifically based. Maybe that with hashtag Trojan horse with hashtag life acts, if you want, <laughs> um, you know, start, start, like getting people to think a bit because if we don't start thinking we won't start doing and if we don't start doing we're done yeah critical thinking definitely okay. can i just do one more very very quick mary i know we need to mm-hmm. wrap up mm-hmm. uh so yeah stand in the park look it up it's a lovely it's not even an organization it's just a completely kind of fluid thing so go and meet your local people stand in the park the other one is 22nd and 23rd of january so soon there's mm-hmm. another worldwide freedom meetup and they are around the world again. There's been, I think this is number six now. Um, and they're normally about, there's like 100 and plus, 150 plus locations around the world, 50 odd countries. And it's standing up for five basic freedoms. They are uh, choice, speech, assembly, movement and health. Mm-hmm. Um, very hard to argue with. But we do need to stand for them or mm-hmm. they will disappear. Right. That's all we have time for on radio. However, you can join us over on lifehacks.com. That's with a K and an X for more information about this, these blogs, these locations and places and people that you can meet up with and start organizing your life for a better future for the world. And also, um, yeah, stay tuned to Life Hacks because we will, whether we're on radio or off of radio, um, we will continue to post blogs that will help you uh, attain and survive this new year. Thank you, Eva. It's been a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun, Mary. <laughs> so Life Hacks listeners, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our podcast. And I hope that we will have more to come. Um, enjoy your new year. More importantly, do something. Thank you for listening. Lifehacks. Lifehacks.com. That's with a K and an X. 